first successful flight of an airplane was made from this spot by Orville Wright, December 17, 1903, and a machine designed and built by Wilbur Wright and Orville Wright. So what I find fascinating is that the first three flights were very short, and this is the third flight, it's 200 feet. But the fourth flight, which is all the way down there at that marker, is about 859 feet. So what I wanna do is find out why there was such a big difference. Was it the wind, or did they make some kind of upgrade? That is something we need to find out. 852 feet. front of the wing uh, that changes the center of balance it makes the pitch control smoother uh, so Wilbur just kind of got lucky he held the pitch in the right spot the elevator in the right spot and as soon as he tries to adjust it again uh, he lands now headed toward the monument which as we heard is 60 feet tall and yep and the hill is 90. the hill is 90 that's 150 feet according to my calculations nice calculations thank you oh yes I'm here with a fellow youtuber we'll call him mr. K and he's got a channel called N1 Sword Slasher. What is uh, your channel about? Gaming, stop motion, and sometimes just going to conve conventions. That sounds very cool. Jeez, this is a pretty long walk, even though we just started. <laughs> yes. My feeling is once you're here, you're here, you should see everything that you can see. Except a lot of people don't. Didn't. Yes, and that is a long walk, but. You know, if we don't do it, we'll regret it. And we're just about to the top yep. of the monument. Oh my gosh. I can't so believe we walked all of this. You no, know, I think the Wright brothers practice here before they use the powered airplanes. We made it. World to the Wright brothers. Thank you. 